This treaty on pandemics would be rooted in the constitution of the World Health Organization. It will support the principle of health for all. And through this treaty, our main goal is to foster a comprehensive approach to better predict, prevent and respond to pandemics, to strengthen global capacities and resilience, to ensure fair access to medical solutions and to bolster international alert systems, data sharing and cutting edge medical research. COVID-19 has been a harsh reminder. No one is safe until everyone is safe. And it's why leaders from every region of the world have come together to propose collective action at international level. Immunization is a global public good. So we need to be able to develop, manufacture and deploy vaccines as quickly as possible. And we also need to ensure universal and equitable access to vaccines, medicines and tests. Session, if you want to be put in, the queue for in, in, in the treaty, as I said, we, we cannot say this is in, this is out, because member states will start the negotiation. And we hope to have a resolution by May when uh, the member states sit for the World Health Assembly. So uh, anything that the member states would like to have to strengthen national capacity and global capacity, of course, they will, they will consider. Thank you. But we hope it will address the challenges I, I already outlined, at least the three challenges, sharing information and sharing pathogens and sharing technology, sharing products, including vaccines. That's what we hope. But I think that will be for uh, negotiation of all the member uh, states. Mr. President, please. Mr. President.